Zipping PHP files for submission. If your learning management system is objecting to PHP or JavaScript files, and really that's pretty logical because JavaScript and PHP files can wreck a little bit of havoc, here's how to prepare to submit the files. In this case, I've got a PHP file and a CSS file. Now I can zip just a PHP file, but since I want to present these two files together, I'm going to select the first file, then I'm going to hold down the shift key, I'm going to select the second file, I'm going to right click, I'm going to select send to compressed zipped folder, and then I might type my last name and the name of the lesson there, and that's just for convenience. So then it'll be a .zip file. Now if you cannot see what the file extension is, it's going to have a little zipper on it, and it's going to say compress zipped folder. But it's always a good idea to click view, click file naming extensions, and then you can see what type of file it is right there. That just makes it easier. And then you can go ahead and upload to your learning management system as normal, and it will be much happier. Hope this was a helpful quick tip.